Okay, friends. Take three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've tried a couple of times. We're doing a snack. We're doing a recap. It's a recap It's a snack. little longer than a snack. It's more than a bonus episode. It's a recap of season two. It's Tammy. <laughs> and Lisa. With Riding Side Saddle. It's a snackaroo. <laughs> it's a snackaroo. <laughs> Riding Side Saddle. A couple of cousins in a recording car. studio <laughs> that we is really a car. And uh, we're just talking about all sorts of fun things. We are. Um, some things get a little heavy and a little deep, and some things are really lighthearted and fun. And we try to keep them not so deep that you don't want to come back and listen. Um, we mix it up. Yeah, we mix it up. Yeah, there's for al- sure. There's also a lot of vulnerability. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. We, we um, in our first try at this and our second try at this, <laughs> we really talked about how uh, through these conversations, like it peels back some serious stuff within ourselves. For sure. To us. To learn. Yeah. It, well, so we're not experts. No. We never said we Hell were. Oh, no, we are not. In fact, we're experts in exactly nothing. And we're not trying to be experts. We're just people having a human experience That's like right. everyone else. That's right. And so this is just stuff that we talk about amongst ourselves. Um, maybe other people do. Maybe you don't. Maybe, you know. Uh, you want to. Maybe right. you think about it. Right. Yeah. Anyway, what I do know is that a lot of these things are resonating with people because you're reaching out and telling us that thing you said really hit me. That I brought tears it. to my eyes. Yeah. Right, right. That made me realize that all this time I've been thinking this when it's really that. So, um, you know, we're just. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's a big deal. it is. Anyway, recap of season two. Yeah. Um, We really launched into a lot of self-discovery during season two. um, Very authentically. We didn't intend to. It was a very organic organic. progression. Uh, We started out uh, season two with um, three episodes on Enneagram. Um, We brought in a couple of friends, Jamie and Becky, to talk about this. They're enthusiasts of Enneagram, uh, which is kind of a personality typing type of um, process. Um, It has some questions that you can answer and it will help you to identify really kind of where your tendencies fall. Mm -hmm. Um, One through nine. It's on a wheel and, you know, like your main tendency, you get a couple of wings and when you're healthy or unhealthy, you're, you know, different number. It's very complicated. Honestly, it is. Yeah, there's there's a bit to it, but we <laughs> but we scratched the surface we did. in season two, and sure. um, had a lot of fun with Jamie and Becky learning a little bit about that. I think we piqued some interest in it. We did. Yeah. Uh, we offered up a um, free analysis um, or website that you could answer some questions to kind of like hone in a little bit on yourself yeah. from a self discovery perspective. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Stay tuned for season three, though, because Ooh. we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit deeper into that. So we sure that'll are. be fun. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we followed that up with what's referred to as emotional management with Nikki. Yeah, my sister in law Nikki yeah. came to join oh, us that for was that. So much fun. It was a lot of fun. We, um, gosh, ultimately in that episode, we talked a lot about em- all types of emotions. Those that are perceived as positive or negative, good. primary, secondary, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> at the end of at the end of any of those emotions, no matter what you're experiencing, I think the big takeaway was to process it. Mm-hmm. Don't stuff it down. No, Mm-mm. right. Don't don't it, don't let it get pussy. <laughs> God, that's right. <laughs> It'll go bad. It'll go in real every, bad. In every sort of way, it'll just go bad. Yes, it um, will. But that's where the concept really started to come to the surface that um, that really w- made its way through a lot of our episodes in season two, and that's the concept of observation. Yeah. Be an observer. Be an observer of your own feelings. That's how you start to recognize what they are, right? Like, we just go through life. Reacting. Every day, reacting, bulldozing your way through. In order to understand what you're doing, you have to be an observer of all of those those moments, those feelings, those um, situations. Yes. How you're reacting in different situations. 
when you observe that, that's when you start to unpack it a little bit. If you can figure out what you've done, then you can move into the direction of, well, why did I do that? Mm -hmm. What was I feeling in that moment? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. So we, but it was really a fun up. That was a really fun episode with Nikki. It was. We talked actually a couple of episodes because we wanted to do a little bit of a um, summary of that. Right, since... right. You and I did one after yeah. the one we did with Nikki, but the one with Nikki was super fun. It was. So listen, then um, <laughs> then we went on tour. Road trip. We did. It was, uh, <laughs> we, were, we were recording immediately after Christmas. Yeah. Like the first following week in January it or was. so, right? And we <laughs> we went up to Green Bay. We actually had two guest speakers yeah. that we recorded with. Right. Catherine and Heather. Yeah. Um, Heather we actually recorded with on Sunday morning on our way back. Um, however, she was the We published those yeah, episodes. Those were the first, first of mm -hmm. those episodes that we published. Yeah. Yeah. So um Heather gosh, I just love her. She doesn't like, everyone I, love Heather. How can you not Gosh. love Heather? One <laughs> one of her like main accomplishments that she's most proud of is being a corporate America dropout. Yeah. And she gets into why that happened. She gets into all of the shoulds in her life that led her to corporate America. And then what happened to her when she was not living her authentic self. This is not really the path. I mean, she doesn't say it wasn't the path she was meant to take. She learned a lot of things. Because she learned a lot mm -hmm. of things. But she realized that wasn't where she really wanted or needed to be. Authentically. Exactly. So unpacking that, first of all, the damage that it caused, and then backing up from that, letting go of the shoulds. Yes. How do, how do you, like, how do you recover from that? Yeah. Absolutely. So we had two really great episodes with Heather. And if I remember correctly, she uh, resonates most deeply with Enneagram One, oh. which is the same type that I yeah. resonate with. And there's so many shoulds, right? If other people aren't giving you what you should do, you're giving yourself <laughs> twice the dose of what yeah. should happen. So now that I know that about her, I can it absolutely sense, see right? where that came from I can see that more too. than the average absolutely. bear. And she makes a great cup of coffee. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she does. Yeah. We may sure. just have to invite Heather back. Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think we need to invite our guests back. Like I, that's, just, that's just a full blanket statement, right? Not naming names. We just need to invite them back. I can't disagree yeah. with that. Mm-hmm. All right. We've, we've met some great people. We have. So after Heather was Catherine. Catherine. Ugh. We had three episodes, two episodes? How many? Three, three episodes three. with Catherine. Yes. And a photo shoot. And a photo shoot with Gosh. Steve. <laughs> we spent, yeah, we stayed the night with Catherine and Steve. They were incredible hosts, first of all. Just Steve took terrific pictures, and we had so much fun doing that photo shoot. And then he set up a little studio for us that wasn't in a car. Yeah. Yeah. And had <laughs> snacks and drinks, and we just, we had so much fun. It was wonderful. And then the subject was all about intuition. It was. So Catherine, um, like, she lives and breathes intuition. For sure. It is just part of her spirit. Yeah. There is, there is not... Like there's no uncovering. There's no like I have to I have to evolve into this. Like intuition is Catherine, right? Well, and but she did squash that down for a long time, right? The Catherine that we that know we today, know today, there's right. no squashing exactly at all, exactly right, right. Which I love that story of hers because so many of us I think feel like, well, that's not for me. I don't have that gift, right? Yes. And Catherine knew she had the gift, but squashed it. Correct. For lots of reasons. For the shoulds. Which most of us do too, yeah. right? And then she got, right, she broke away from the shoulds and went, this is, this is a really big part of who I am. And one of the things that she talked about is, this is not just unique for me. No. I'm not one of the special people. This, this is something that everybody has. Exactly. This is a talent. We all have Everyone, it. Every one, every human being has it. It is a gift. To everyone. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. So that was really fun. It was. Um, so, so 
that really connected to one of the episodes we had at the very beginning of season one. Oh, yeah. Where we introduced that concept. I think it was episode two of season one. It was. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of dropped it for a little while and came back to it yeah. um, during season two, right. which was really spectacular. For sure. We even took it a little bit further than to start talking a little bit about, <clears throat> um, you know, intuition and and empathic types oh, yeah. of things. Um, but where do they come from? Sometimes they come from uh, maybe a response to trauma that you had. Maybe it's an overused skill that you have learned as part of a survival mechanism, quote unquote. Sure. Um, you know, and it it can kind of go in a couple different directions. Right. Well, and so, I, I mean, the term empathic is so trendy. It right? is. And, and we're not intending to be like trend jumpers here, but... Uh, bandwagon jumpers. But um, what we realized as we were just talking amongst ourselves was um, that some of this stuff is not really like, I can feel the energy in the room, right? Yeah. This is, I feel the energy in the room, but it's because I've always had to do that to keep myself safe. Correct. And that's where the trauma response comes in. Yes. So we talked about that a little bit, um, a lot of it, actually. The example um, that a lot of that conversation was wrapped around was a conversation that my husband Scott and I had yeah. and even listening to the episode after pub it, after it was published um it was it continued to be a lesson for me because mm -hmm. after listening to myself carry on about that story I realized that not only is it trauma response but it's also highly codependent mm -hmm. and it just like it took me, it took me a bit. Like yeah, the wind got stuck. Right in the it, gut, did. Didn't it? it did because I had no idea that that's what I was exhibiting. Right. We'll talk more. I think about we will codependency. Talk more about that. That's a big topic. Um, I'm a little afraid of it, but uh, <laughs> but we'll do it. We'll get there. I think it's necessary. <laughs> really, it is. It is so easy to fall into codependency. It's something we really need to unpack quite a bit more agree yeah agree so we'll we'll get there maybe season three maybe season four yeah but it's on our list it for sure, sure is yeah yeah so we ended with mary mary mary, <laughs> mary the wild woman wild woman she that she has a light in her does that is palpable like right? you can see it you yes. can feel it it's there you know there was an episode uh, and i don't remember I'm not going to try to guess which episode or which season, but we were talking about um, basically like don't, I mean, being nice to strangers is important, right? Yeah. Complimenting them on their shoes or their purse or dress or whatever. Sounds like ripples of kindness. It may have been, but how great would it, how great it would it be if you walked in the door and someone greeted you with a, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy to see your face. Mary does that. She does. And, like she walks and in the true. door and her face lights up and she bursts into laughter and she doubles over laughing because laughing she's so happy to see you. She does. It's the most It is. Wonderful. Genuine. I yeah. I love Mary. <laughs> so we had this great idea that we were going to do one book. We were going to read one book a month for our book club. Riding Side, Riding Side Saddle Book Club. One book a month. Well, that didn't happen. No, it that was idealistic for <laughs> sure. I mean, maybe we could do it. No, <laughs> but not with this particular not with this book. One. So the book we chose for our very first book club pick. Yep, it is called "You Are a Badass: How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life" by Jen Sincero. Man alive! Whew. That book touches on all of the things that we've been talking about with riding side saddle it does so i i have a hard a soft copy physical book right mm -hmm. um and i needed to flag things i used a bunch of stickies maybe about 50 or so god that's a lie <laughs> god that is the biggest fucking lie i have heard right, in a long was, time maybe it was 75 oh god 77 right. at the most. Whatever. <laughs> Tell yourself your stories. <laughs> okay, so I had a fair number of tabs, all right? Not even going to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
There were so many good points in that book. Honestly, I think that one book could be a whole season for us. For real. Right? There were, I, I, and I know it probably doesn't feel like we shortened it up, but I feel like <laughs> we, we really did. did have some restraint. I know that four episodes does not sound like restraint to cover one book, but it was. Yeah. There were so many good points in there. We could have talked about stuff for days. Really. Agree. So every book will not be that way. They won't be. No, I mm -hmm. agree with you. I agree. We might I be do. able to get through a book in one episode. But just, what we decided we was we were just going to do one book club, one book per season, not for not per month, per season. And I'm going to give Tammy one day <laughs> to read mean? and review the book <laughs> with a limited stack of post-it notes. You do not get to limit me. <laughs> No, you cannot keep me small. There's no right. chance Fair that's enough. happening. It's going to be whatever it's going to be, whether it's one episode <laughs> or five of them. It'll just be what it'll be. Agreed. That was a great book, though. It was. And it was really fun to meet Mary and have her participate in that, too. She's a doll. I know. We love her. Me, too. So that was season two. It was a lot of fun. So, so really, at the end of this third take... <laughs> And of we've tried to do this recap a three couple times. of times. Yeah. I want to sincerely thank our guests for coming and being right. a part of this. Jamie and Becky talking about Enneagram. Um, Nikki, my sister in law, talking about emotional management. Heather and Catherine for being part of that, that tour, Writing right. Side Saddle on tour. Um, and Intuition hosting us. And shoulds. Oh gosh, and yeah. hosting us for the weekend. It was terrific. spectacular. Yeah. And Mary for navigating through this <laughs> really spectacular and long. She did not commit to four club. episodes. She committed to one. <laughs> one book, one episode, and it was not that. It was a big commitment for her. So um thank you, all of you. Really. Every every one we record, I was like, this is my favorite. No, no, this is my, no, this is my, they were all my favorites. And we've I can't, really, they, I can't pick any real favorite. They're all my favorites. We've really had people say that to us yeah. recently. Yes, like, oh, this last one, this is my favorite. Yeah. I know I just said that the last time, <laughs> but now this one's my favorite. Right, right. They're all my favorites. I can't, I'd, they're just all my favorites. It's good. It is really good. So season three. So right now we're taking a little bit of a break. Yep. A break, hiatus. right? Yep. And, um, like a couple of weeks and then we're going to come back with season three that's right and we'll dig a little bit in into some of these same um topics again we'll dig a little from deeper a different into angle. some of them for yep. sure it's not a repeat it's a little different but it might be the same topic so um and and we've got uh, some guests from season one that we're planning to bring back that's and, right um lots of different things we'll pick a new book club book and um it's going to be some good be, stuff. It will be good stuff. So thank you for uh, hanging in there with us yeah. through season two. Enjoying with us. Absolutely. This has been a really fun ride. But we've got more fun things planned. So stay tuned. Hang in there with us some more. Copy, like, share, um, you know, all, all of those things. Subscribe. Because um, there's more to come. There is. Yeah. It'll be good. All right. It'll be real good. All right. So till season three. Then, yep. Till right? next time. All right. Adios. Toodaloo.